So hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hi. teacher. Hello, Good teacher. Evening. Hello. Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Are you okay? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Thank you for being here. We're going to begin, everybody. Thank you for joining. This is session number um, seven. And I'm going to start by, you know, in this case, I'm going to pass the attendance, remember? And once you listen to your names, stay present, please. So let's begin, just give me a second. Again, I will go with first participant, Alberto Espinosa. Here. And Francisca Garcia. Present teacher. Please. Let's go with Ana Vicky Garcia. Okay. Aztec Diaz. Present. Master Muñoz. Present teacher. Okay. Bessie Avalos. Present. Okay. Bessie Present. Flores. Thank you. Present teacher. Cesar Martinez. Present. Okay. Cesar Ariola. Present. Very good, thank you. Claudia Ramos. Present. Okay. Talida Galicia. Present, teacher. Okay. Carmi Peña. Present, teacher. Okay. Ernesto Garcia. Present, teacher. Okay. Stephanie Sea. Present, teacher. Okay. Preston Rodriguez. Preston Rodriguez. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Let's go with Elena Linares. Present teacher. Thank you. So, Liana Labrado, sorry. Me. Okay. Present. Good, good. Thank you. <laughs> Joan Patriz. Present. Nice. Jennifer Mangandi. Present. Okay. Joanna Navarro. Present. Okay. Jorge Espinosa. Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Barrientos. Present. Okay. Sure. Okay. Jose Rodríguez. Jose Rodríguez. Okay. Jose Portillo. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Carballo. Present teacher. Nice. Karen Mejiva. Karen Mejiva. Here, Karen Renata Flores. I am here, teacher. Good. Carla Granados. Here, Carla Rivera. Present teacher. Good. And Carla Rosa, I think is here. Okay. Then, okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. Si alguien me hace falta, bueno, más adelante, Okay, so my answer is going to be in. Right now you are 24. Perfect. Okay, uh, please, everybody switch on the camera, please. I want to take a screenshot. Let's go to the next slide, please. Let's go to the next slide, please. One, two, three. Thank you. All right. Well, let's begin. Um, I want to know first if everything is well. Is everything well with the platform? 
¿Estamos bien con la plataforma? ¿Todo bien? No hay ningún inconveniente. Yes, it's, it's all right. ¿Sí? Ok, más adelante vamos a, a ver detalladamente un par de cositas que es el meter. Recuerden que mañana lo vamos a hacer. Bueno, probablemente algunos ya lo hicieron. Ya nos adelantamos. Ya está bien. Vamos a, lo que vamos a, al, al día, o nos hace falta un, recuerden, vamos completando poco a poco, no se nos olvide, y mantener siempre el 80%, ¿ok? Eh, vamos con nota final y de asistir, ¿ok? No se nos olvide. Más adelante vamos a ver a detalle, repito, voy a explicarles así las instrucciones acá del meter, que lo vamos a hacer mañana, recuerden. Y bueno, debemos estar listos. Espero que hayamos estado practicando, estudiando, etcétera, para que estemos listos mañana. Bueno, el meter se va a hacer, se saben, lo pueden hacer mañana, incluso de día, mañana tarde, por la noche, ya sea después de la sesión. Uh, se va a hacer, después, ¿ok? No, no, no vamos a hacer en la sesión. Bien. Igual, si ustedes tienen alguna duda, por ejemplo, en, en, pueden ir a la sesión. El jueves vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso del Meetup. Vamos a verlo a uh, todos. Vamos a, a discutir en caso haya, no sé, hayan tenido algún problema, alguna dificultad, alguna duda. Podemos verlo a detalle. ¿okay? Así que estemos listos. Eso va a ser mañana. Más adelante, repito, voy a explicar. We're going to begin. Everybody, with session number seven. Thank you for joining. Can everybody see the presentation? Podemos ver la presentación. Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, this is session number seven, everybody. Today, we will have that topic, prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Right, and we're going to start saying or giving, you know, some positions, locations, etc. Okay, that is the main topic. I repeat, prepositions of place. Today is Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. Moving on. Let's begin. Let's begin, you know, and we're going to define what is a preposition of place. That is the first thing. A preposition of place is used to refer to a place where something or someone is located. This is a preposition de lugar. Okay? Nos referimos a un lugar en donde algo, alguna persona está ubicada o ubicada. Okay? So that is a preposition of place. Preposition of place is used to refer to a place where something or someone is located. You can have different places as we discussed, as we saw in the previous session. Do you remember the places? Uh, restaurant. Yes. What else? Restaurant. Department store. Department store. Gas station. Gas station, Drug yes. Store. Drug store. The hospital. Nope. Bank. Hospital, yeah, that's a long place. Library. Market. Library. Butcher store. Yeah. Coffee shop. Bookstore. Etc. We have different places, right? And if you, you know, if you locate, or if you have a map, for example, you can locate different places, let's say in a city or in a town. Okay. Podemos localizar, podemos identificar diferentes lugares, por ejemplo, en un mapa, o si hablamos de la ciudad, de, del pueblo, por ejemplo, etc. Okay. So, what is a preposition of place? Let's begin with the preposition of place because we have different, different prepositions, uh, specifically for place, places. The first one is, look at the picture. We have a, let's say a house or a building or not, a house. 
and we have a street, a street. So the first preposition is on, 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 okay? On. In the picture, in the picture, we can see a house, let's say, and we can see a street, street. Okay, una casa y una calle. For example, if you say, um, let's talk about streets. Main street, for example, main street. Okay. So when we use this preposition on, it's because the place is on the street. Okay, the place is on the main street, for example. You can say, my house is on Main Street. Main Street, okay? My house is on Main Street, okay? La casa, mi casa está sobre el principal. Your house is on Main Street. There's a person, on, on, All right? That is the first preposition. Let's go to the second preposition. At the place that is a bookstore, that is a bookstore, and the preposition is on the corner of. On the corner of. On the corner of. On the corner of. Yes. On the corner of. On the corner of. Yeah, on the corner of. We can see the place, right? And in the place, you can see, well, the place is over here. We can see a street over here. And we can see another street over here. So we have two streets, right? And the place, place is on the corner of, for example, the bookstore. We have two streets, two streets, the number of those guys. Main street and the other one can be the first avenue. Okay, so we use avenidas, calles, as we know in Spanish, right? So in this case, the bookstore, we can say, is on the corner of Main Street in First Avenue. First Avenue, okay? On the corner of. The bookstore is on the corner of Main Street in First Avenue, okay? That is the way we use on the corner of. We're talking about place. The place is the bookstore. And we're using streets oh. or avenues. Estamos oh. hablando de un lugar y estamos utilizando calles y avenidas. Es el, el ejemplo. The bookstore is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. These are the two first two prepositions. On, on the corner of. Any questions oh. so far? No, on, teacher, it's correct. On the corner of. Okay. Somebody else? Questions? Preguntas? Dudas? Some momento? Todo bien. Okay. I have also. a question about this part. Tell me. Uh, it's correct. Uh, we say uh, in the corner of or uh, specifically on the corner. We use on the corner of. Yes, that is the way. That is the, the okay. correct, uh, I would say, preposition on, on the corner of. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that means if, if, you, if you ask me for an equivalence, it could be like an esquina. An esquina puede ser una equivalencia. Okay. Perfect. Let's move on. Let's go to the following prepositions. I have two more. Next, well, I need you to look at this picture. Look at the picture. Uh, we have two places, we have two places. Okay, we have two places. Two places are over here, let's say this way. And we have a street in the middle. Okay, tenemos dos lugares y hay una calle en el medio. Okay, so in this case, the preposition is across from. And the place, we point out that place, oof. The preposition in this case is across from. Across from. Across from. Across from. It's because you cross, you cross 
the street. You are in a place. So imagine that you are over here. You are in the bookstore. Okay? You are in the bookstore. And this is a post office. Post office. Bookstore? Post office. And we have the street. Okay? So you have to cross, cross, sorry, you have to cross the street. Then I'm going to cross the street. Cross from. Okay? So if you ask, because we have a specific question, where is, that is the structure, where is, I would say, the bookstore. Where is the bookstore? You can answer the bookstore is, or you can say just like it, and then the preposition, okay? Where is the bookstore? Look at the example. The bookstore is across from the post office. Okay. This is a post office. Okay? Imagine that, that is a post office. Okay? Post office and the bookstore. So the bookstore is across from the post office. Okay? You crawl, you cross the street. Across from the family. Across from, that is another preposition. Across from, across Teacher. from, yes, tell me. Excuse me, why don't you use in front of? Mm. When do we use it? When do we use it? Yes. Okay, good. Well, in front of is different. In front of is different. Because, goodness, let me see. Mm. Let me see. So imagine that we have two places over here. Okay. One and the other one. Hmm, let me see. I'll do it like this. Okay. Okay. So this case is different because we don't have uh, something in the middle, let's say a path or a street. Ese caso es diferente que utilizamos en Fernanda, porque no, no hay algo de por medio, por ejemplo, la calle, un camino, etc. En este caso, si usted dice que este es el bookstore y este es el post office, en este caso dice que el bookstore es en Fernanda, post office. Por ejemplo, en mi caso, in my case, I can say I am in front of, front of the laptop. I am in front of the laptop. So the laptop is close to me. It's close to me, but it is in front of me. The laptop is in front of me, or I am in front of the laptop. Frente de. So it's different. Okay. Be clear? Yes, teacher. You, uh, teacher, you, uh, you use across from because you are across the street. Exactly. You have to cross the street. For example, um, let me see. Well, uh, if you go to Metro Centro, for example, Metro Centro, and, well, we have the bus stop, right? The bus stop. Metro Center over here and the bus stop. So we can see the street, right? We have the bus stop. That bus stop, you take buses, the buses, uh, the 29 roads, etc. Ahí tomamos la, la 29, por ejemplo, otras rutas como la 11C, etc. So we can say Metro Centro is across from the bus stop because you have to cross the street. Yes. Okay. That's okay. Let's go with another preposition, guys. Remember, so far we have on, on the corner of. The corner of. Across from. The bookstore yeah. is across from the post office. Another preposition. Look at the two, let's say houses or buildings or stores. And they are close, right? They are close. In this case, it's next. Next. 
next to. We can say the bank next to the bank is next to the post office. Next to next to. Okay. For example, I can say I am next to the window. I am next to the window. So in this case, the bank, this is the bank, okay? This is the bank. Or, or it could be this one. So it doesn't matter the position. So if the places are together, it's, it, they are close, it's next to. The bank is next to both of Okay? A la par. Good. Any questions so far? Teacher, yeah. Okay. Across from, este, uh, solo usaríamos para acá. Is only for only used for a street. No, because if you have, for example, path, path, un caminito, por ejemplo, o un camino que divide así por, y hay dos lugares digamos así cercanos uh, y tenemos que cruzar ese camino por ejemplo podría ser podría aplicar okay. thanks yeah. you welcome you welcome if is there are a river is yeah is good say it's a, across yes a, across so, the river exactly for example that's a good observation let's continue with forms Okay, we have, this is a school. And let me see. Um, we have a river over here, a river. And well, the river, let's say, because yeah, it's hard to, the river has a, a bridge, un puente, okay, and un puente. Uh, then we have, over here, we have a park. Okay, if you ask where is the school, where is the school, you can say the school is across from the park. I'm sorry, okay, the school is across from the park. Yes, the, the school is across from Okay, it's because you have the river, so you have to cross the river. In this case, you have to take the bridge. Great. Yeah, that is a way. Okay. 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 Good. Let's continue. Let's go with the other propositions. Let's go with the last one. So here we have. We have three places now. Three places. They are close. They are together. Okay, the places. Mm -hmm. This case is between. Between. Just one. To E, okay? Like this. Between, I'm sorry. Between, between, okay? Well, let's say we have a drugstore, a drugstore, and we have two other places, right? And then we, we can ask, where is a drugstore? Where is a drugstore? The drugstore is between the bank this is the bank and post office. All right. The drugstore is between the bank and the post office. So in that case, the place is in the middle. El lugar está en el centro. Y hay dos lugares en la parte. The drugstore is between the bank and the post office, or it could be the other way. The drugstore is between the, the post office and the bank. So it doesn't matter the order. It doesn't matter the order. Because we're asking for the drugstore. No importa el orden porque estamos preguntando acerca de drugstore, okay? No importa el orden. Como hacemos el orden, las facturas no alterar el resultado, okay? All right. Any questions again? Preguntas? 
students. These are prepositions of place. Prepositions of place. Preguntas, students? Teacher. Yeah? Tell when, me. When, you, when we use in the middle, it's not the same. Mm. Um, in the middle, it's not common to see it. I mean, you can say, yeah, you can, you can use it. You can use it. For example, if you say um, the drugstore is in the middle of the bank and office. It can be, it can be possible. It can be, you can do, you can say it, you can say it. But we use between because that is a, the preposition, between. between. Yes. Between is con dos e o con tres, between. No, it's with just two, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, there is a mistake. I'm sorry. Yeah. Me too. Somebody else? Questions? Okay, listen, we're going to practice. We're going to practice. You're going to give me some ideas. We're going to answer some questions. Do we have a map? Map. Okay, we have different places as you can see. This can be a, a city, let's say, right? We have streets, and we have different places. We have, for example, Maple Street, Main Street, Davis Street. Those are the streets that we have, okay? Streets. In other places, we have bank, grocery store, parking lot, movie theater, drugstore, Swimming pool, park, bookstore, Chinese restaurant, newsstand, music store, pay phone, bank, post office, travel agent, Italian restaurant, again, grocery store, public restaurant, bus stop, etc. We have different places that we can say. In, we can ask questions. We can ask questions because we want to know Vamos a hacer infinidad de preguntas para ah, saber acerca de ubicaciones. Ubicaciones o, um, in English, is locations, okay? Well, for example, for example, let's focus on, I will say, I will use the first example. I will give an example, okay? We have here the public restaurant, okay? It's over here. For example, if I ask you, if I, if I ask, remember the question is, where is? Where is? Plus, plus, place. Plus a place. And you can answer, you can say the place, the place is, and this is the preposition. The preposition plus the other place. Okay. Or you can say just x. It is or x. And then the preposition and the place. For example, if I ask you. Where is public? No, sorry. What arm? Because it's here. It's here. Put on. Oh, it is a singular. Okay. Where is where is public restaurant? Where is a public restaurant? You can say first. We're going to locate the place. We're going to locate the place. We're going to identify what. Okay. Public restaurant is over here. You can say the public, we, we can have different possibilities, okay? I'm gonna give you some possibilities. We can say the public restaurant is on the corner of 
Main Street in Davis Street. Main Street in Davis Street. That is the first possibility. That is the first possibility. Another possibility, it could be it's next to the drugstore. Next to the drugstore. Drugstore. Okay, next to, next to the drugstore. Teacher. Okay. Yeah? Uh, uh, maybe can is uh, the car, uh, is the, donde está la ubicación del carro, entonces de ahí dirigirlo, donde dice across off. Yeah, you can say across from too, good. Yeah. That's another possibility, good. It's across from the parking lot. Parking lot, exactly. Okay, it's over here. Across from the parking lot. Excellent. That is another possibility. Okay, that is the way we ask questions and we give patients. Okay, prepositions. Please. I have a question. Sure, tell me. Of the movie theater. Uh, what is the correct behind is to is correct mm. for the for the parking lot or for the grocery store in, in this part. This is for the grocery store. The grocery store. Yeah, yeah. However, yeah, it could be the parking lot, but I consider it could be behind or next to. Next. Oh, okay. It depends. It depends. But yeah. But uh, the grocery behind. store yeah? too, right? Sorry? But the grocery store is behind, right? Exactly. So that is another proposition. Behind. Right. Atrás. Right. Yes. Atrás. Uh, well, for example, the movie theater. Let me give you an example. Where is... Um, where is, I would say, the grocery store in this case, the grocery store. Grocery store. The grocery store is behind. is behind the movie theater. Yeah, because the movie theater is over here, but the, the grocery store is behind. That is why. Behind is another proposition. Yeah. Of place. Perfect. Uh, we're going to practice. We're going to practice. Let's say I will have some volunteers and you're going to help me. Let's see, I will give you an example. I'll give you a question, please. I'll ask you for where is the payphone? Where is the payphone? Okay, look at the look at the map. Where is the payphone? The payphone is between oops, my mano no me deja ver, but it's, it's between music store and the and the bank. Okay, okay. The payphone is between the music store and the bank. The bank. Exactly. So we have another possibility. Yes, teacher. The payphone is a crown from Parking lot. Okay, yeah. The bank is, or the payphone is across from the parking lot. Exactly. Teacher, yes. uh, yeah? uh, maybe uh, the pos other possibility is the payphone on Davis Street. Yeah, exactly. The payphone is on Davis Street. Exactly. Again. Okay. Listen up. Well, those are some different possibilities, exactly. There's some different possibilities that we have. Sí. Okay, listen. Now, let's see. I will listen to uh, Ernesto. Please do me a favor. Select a place. Select a place. Whatever you want. Ask a question to a classmate. Select someone. Select someone. Where? Uh, uh... I use uh, the bus stop. Where is the bus stop? Este... 
Uh, Astrid Lorena. Astrid Lorena, where is the bus stop? Okay. What is, where is the bus stop? What is the bus stop? Astrid Minos? But the bus stop is over here. Over here. Where is the bus stop? The bus stop on the corner of Main Street and Davis Street. Okay, the bus stop is on the Main Street in Maple. 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 Maple Street. Yes, exactly. Another possibility? Another volunteer, Carla? Okay. Um, podría ser um, the bus star is a uh, cross from but cross from the bus store okay repeat again the bus stop is the bus stop is across from, from the bus store yes exactly the bus stop thank is you. across from the bus store it's a pleasure thank you too good good excellent Let's see, I will select somebody else. Um, Cesar Martinez, please. Ask a question, yeah, construct no. a question and ask it to another person, please. Okay. Um, let me check. Uh, sure. Liliana, Mariel. Okay. Liliana, okay. Um, yes, yes. What is the swimming pool? The swimming pool. Okay, okay. Yeah. The, is, yeah. The swimming pool is next to the drugstore. Okay. Okay. In that case, listen. In that case, Ileana? Atrás. Exactly. The swimming pool is behind. Behind the drugstore. The swimming the pool is behind the drugstore. Exactly. And let me explain why. Let me explain why. Let me explain why it's not next to. Next to. Okay, yeah, we have the two places over here. We have the two places over here. Yeah, and they are together. Sure. Okay, the swimming pool is this one. Swimming pool. And the drugstore is over here. But the drugstore, the drugstore has the entrance over here. Let me show you. Okay, so the entrance is in this position. La entrada está en esa posición. Por eso no, no, no podría ser tanto a la par. La entrada está en esa posición. Y bueno, de la piscina se puede entrar de cualquier... Bueno, en ese caso está al aire libre, por supuesto. Es que por eso... Ok, caso, It can be behind. Okay. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Let's continue. Ah, Ileana, let's continue with you. Please, select another person and ask... One question to your classmate. Okay. Uh, Bessie Marisol Flores. <laughs> uh, where is the Chinese restaurant? Mm. Oh, oh. Uh... Uh, the Chinese restaurant is now oh. between the van and bookstore. Exactly. The Chinese restaurant is between the bank and the bookstore. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Bessie. Thank you, Liana. Uh, let's see. I will listen to somebody else with another no, possibility. Very good. Another possibility. Uh, tell me what is another possibility. 
talking about the Chinese uh, restaurant. Chinese restaurant uh, on the corner of uh, Maple Street. Okay. okay. Well, in that case, tell me, in that case, it cannot be on the corner of because when we say on the corner of it's because the place it are the places yeah, sorry the places are on these positions on this position we use on the corner of uh, okay uh, yeah. Chinese restaurant um, in front of grocery store for example okay could be could be um but you know we have a street you have to cross a street you can change it tell me and you can use a cross from cross from the chinese restaurant is cross from the grocery store you for me tell me the chinese restaurant the chinese Restaurant is is cross from the grocery store. Cross, cross from the grocery store. Grocery store. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Um, but the entrance of the grocery store is. Uh, mm, that's a good yeah. point. But it well, it, the, it, next to the, the parking lot, right? Yeah, the grocery store is next to the parking lot, in that case, yes. Uh, with the, talking about the Chinese restaurant, it could be in that way, across from, because yeah, we know that the grocery store is over there and you cross the street, so you can find the, the grocery store in that position. In this case, there's no any problem if we use across from, Y la entrada, por ejemplo, no está cabal, digámoslo así, um, de ese lado. ¿Sí? No hay ningún problema si utilizamos a cross from, porque sabemos que grocery store está ahí. Tenemos que cruzar la, la calle y vamos a encontrar the grocery store over there. No hay ningún problema. Si ya utilizamos next to, let's say behind, uh, etc., Con esas preposiciones sí ya tendríamos que estar seguros y ver la, la posición en la que se encuentra en cuanto a las entradas, por ejemplo. ¿Okay? Y en ese caso, podría ser infernal. No es tan, mm, no es tan común. I, oh, there are some people that they use it. Algunas personas utilizan Infernaf, aunque hay una calle de por medio, utilizan Infernaf. But it's not common. It's not common. So it's much better, it's much better if you use a cross farm. Es mucho mejor si utilizamos a cross farm. Y está la calle. Tenemos que cruzarlo. Okay? Perfect. Let's continue. By the way, antes de continuar, ¿alguien más se ha unido después? No lo mencioné. Porque alcancé a ver 25 participantes. Y ahorita solo veo 23. No sé si alguien más se unió después. ¿Está listo? No se lo diga, está. Perfecto. Ya. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Uh, let's see, I will go with another participant. I will select uh, Joanna, please. Joanna, select a place, ask a question to your classmate, a different classmate, okay? Select another classmate. Let me see. Uh, uh. Claudia Ramos. Okay. Uh, Claudia. 
where are where are the drugstore? Mm -hmm. Where is? Open for me, Jana. Where, where is? is the where drugstore. is the drugstore? Good. Thank you. Okay. Before. Okay. Give us the give us the answer. Sorry, Kelly. Give us the answer. <laughs> the drugstore is on the corner of the Maple Street on on Main Street. Exactly. Very good. That's a good one. Thank you. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Okay. We, we can we can uh, we can ask uh, where are the banks? Where are exactly. the grocery stores? Exactly. And I was trying to, to to explain to you. I mean, let me give you another example. We use Pluto. Pluto. Yeah, we have the construction where are. Where are? Where are? And then the place is in plural. But the places, places. Okay. We can say, for example, imagine that we have, let's see, well, let's continue with drugstore. We have two drugstores. I almost lost from Asia, but I almost see juntas. Okay, and you ask where, where are, where are the drugstores? Where are the drugstores? Yeah, we can ask in Pluto. So it depends on the places, right? Where are the drugstores? You can answer the drugstores or we can say on the corner of, as Claudia said, Maple Street. and Main Street, Main Street. Or another possibility, it could be they are on the corner of Maple Street, Main Street. In this case, you omit the noun because we know that we're talking about drugstores. Sabemos que estamos hablando de farmacias, entonces podemos decir they are. En este caso, porque es plural. En las que son singulares, utilizamos is. Y omitimos el, el, el sujeto en ese caso. Ya sabemos que estamos hablando de eso para no ser tan repetitivos. Can say they are on the corner of Maple Street and Main Street. However, we can say the truck stores are on the corner of Maple Street, Main Street. Teacher. We yeah. Sorry. Let's continue uh, again. <laughs> Thanks. Si hubieran canchas, eh, lo mismo. Ahí se puede oh, yeah. aplicar eso. Yeah. For example, well, it depends. It depends, right? Um, let me see. Where are the soccer fields? Soccer fields. Where are the soccer fields? Soccer fields, you might not the soccer fields are over here, right? I think that is a network. The soccer fields are, let's say, across from the bookstore. Yes, this way. Uh, and what we're talking about, you know, because it's different, we say, where are the basketball, basketball courts? The basketball courts are, again, across from the bookstore. Yeah, it applies. It applies. Very good. Thanks, teacher. You will get. Your again. turn says start. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, teacher. We can use uh, there is, uh, for example, uh, talking about the the, the drugstore, right? Yeah. Uh, we we can use, uh, for example, there there is a drugstore um, on the corner of Main Street and Maple Street and another is on the Main Street, right? uh, Davis Street, sorry. Uh, yeah. is, is correct, right? Yeah, when you say there is, right? There is. There is, uh -huh. yeah. And another, right, for the other uh, gro oh, uh, grocery yeah. store. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You can, you can, because, yeah. We can have, let's say, two stores. Two stores, for example, let me see. Ah, we have here 
two places, grocery store and grocery store. Exactly. For example, let's say that someone asks you, where is the grocery store? Grocery store. And we know that in our city, in our, in our town, we have two grocery stores. In nuestro, nuestra ciudad, o en, no sé, en el lugar de, de la city. Tenemos nuestro lugar de residencia, o qué sé yo, estamos en San Salvador, por ejemplo, en downtown, etc. Salvador. Nos preguntan, where is the grocery store? Y hay dos lugares. Yeah, we can answer in that way. We can say, there is a grocery store. We'll say, mm, across from travel agent. And there is another one behind the movie theater. Yes, you can answer in this way. There is a grocery store across from the travel agent. I'm referring to this one. Across from the travel agent. And there is another one behind the movie theater, this one. Yes, again, very good. Okay, uh, questions, somebody else, questions? Preguntas, dudas? No? Vamos bien, all clear? Ok, dice, si hay preguntas, por favor hagamos, hagamos, no nos quedemos con dudas. Voy a irme a la plataforma para explicarles con respecto al Meeker. Okay, estamos en la plataforma, recuerden, ingresamos y vamos acá en curso, curso, y nos va a aparecer así. Recuerden que el, el, el Meeker está en la sección 3. Están tres, que vamos desplegando cada sección, se nos va a ir a, nos va a ir abriendo otras clients. En ese caso, pues, vamos a enfocarnos en la sección tres, porque ahí está el, el midterm. Si empezamos al curso, vamos a la sección tres y damos clic en midterm, exam. Damos clic y va a enviar la siguiente en este caso, pantalla. Bueno, aquí vamos parte por parte. Tenemos la primera parte, listening, this one. La segunda, match, questions with the answers. La tercera, select WS questions to complete the conversations. Cuarta, complete the conversations. Van por letras, A, B, C, D. And letter E, read the article. Read the article. Okay. What do you have to do? In the first one, listening, instructions, instructions, listen to the conversation, check the correct answers. Vamos a escuchar las conversaciones, vamos a seleccionar la respuesta correcta. Escuchemos el audio, que es el audio, y acá están los, los statements, las oraciones. Vamos a complementar, son las opciones de respuesta, seleccionamos, vamos leyendo, seleccionando, leyendo, seleccionando y le damos enviar. Si tenemos, por ejemplo, un error, podemos volver a hacer, ¿ok? No se preocupe. Si tenemos todo bueno, excelente. En la primera sección. Segunda, match the questions with the answers. What the instructions? Instructions, match. The questions with the answers. Vamos a relacionar las preguntas con la respuesta. For example, are we going to work this weekend? Then we have to answer. Yes, etc. Okay. It is individual. Individual. Okay. Pay attention to the subjects. Vamos atención a las palabras, a los sujetos. We. Tenemos que responder 
con we, eh? we. Vamos por cada pregunta, leemos pregunta y contestamos. Pregunta y contestamos. Tenemos tres opciones de, de respuesta. Seleccionamos la que mejor consideremos según la pregunta. Sin, seguimos seis y le damos enviar. La segunda parte. Tercera parte. Pero sí. Select W's questions to complete the conversations. Vamos a sele seleccionar preguntas. Well, select W's questions to complete the conversations. Seleccionen las preguntas. W's questions in this case. Para complementar las conversaciones. Tenemos conversaciones acá. Bueno, va por mini diálogos. Vamos a ir leyendo respuesta. Vamos a leer la respuesta y con base en esa respuesta vamos a contestar. Bueno, hemos dicho, vamos a buscar la pregunta. Hacemos las preguntas. Tenemos cuatro opciones. Continuamos, leemos respuesta. La opción B en ese caso, que es la, la respuesta. La pregunta. Mismo. Hasta terminar. Son cuatro. Sí, le vamos a enviar. Vamos a la siguiente, letter D, complete the conversations. Instructions, complete the conversations, select the correct word. Vamos a comple completar las conversaciones y vamos a sele seleccionar la palabra correcta. I, okay. okay. Vamos a, you have to click on the tab. Vamos a darle click a la pestaña y acá están las opciones. Vamos a seleccionar la que nosotros consideramos. Eh, continuamos a hacer la primera conversación. Bien. La segunda. Leemos. Tercera. Son mini conversaciones. Tercera. Y cuarta. Le damos a enviar. Esa es la parte o literal D. Literal E. Prediarico. Instructions. With the article, then select the correct um, remedy for each condition. Vamos a leer el artículo, luego vamos a seleccionar el remedio casero correcto para cada padecimiento. Leemos el, el article. Acá le podemos dar a zoom. Y luego que hayamos leído el, el, el artículo, vamos a ir contestando. Vamos a elegir el mejor remedio casero. For a cold, for a cough, for a headache, for insomnia, enviar. Eso sería todo. Meter. ¿Tenemos preguntas? No. Eh, te quiero una pregunta. ¿Eh? ¿Esto lo podemos llenar el día de mañana, a cualquier hora? ¿O tiene que ser después de la clase o antes de la clase? Mm, sería mañana. Y lo pueden ir haciendo en el transcurso del día. No hay ningún problema. Porque, bueno, me imagino que algunos ya lo completaron, los que ya vamos avanzados. Porque vamos al ritmo y vamos al día. No se preocupen, podemos ir avanzando. O si nos hemos atrasado, etc. No hay ningún problema. Y luego eso lo podemos hacer mañana en el transcurso del día. No lo vamos a hacer en la sesión. Y cada quien va a trabajar de forma individual. Es que igual no lo vamos a hacer así, que vamos a hacer eso en la sesión y puede decir, bueno, está trabajando en el meter, se quedan trabajando. No, vamos a hacer cada quien pues, que lo pueden hacer en el transcurso del día. Ahorita ya leímos todas las instrucciones, así que ya pueden hacerlo. No hay ningún problema. Puede ser el transcurso del día, mañana, tarde, noche. No hay ningún problema. Sí. Eso sí, mañana. Mañana, ¿ok? Perfecto, perfecto. Ok, uh, questions, somebody else, preguntas, dudas, vamos muy bien. All is clear. Thank you. No okay. question. Thank you. Listen, uh, no question, sorry, sorry. No question. question. Huh? Okay. No, no question. Thank you. Everything's, everything's fine. Okay. okay, listen up. We will do something. 
I'm going to assign you and I'm going to give you an extra practice, an extra practice. What I wanted to do, and I think I'm gonna do something, let me see how can I do. Because I'm going to assign you an extra homework. Now, yes, yeah, good. I'm gonna send you, hmm. One second. Give me a second. Okay, I'm going to assign you an extra homework. So you're going to practice. You're going to practice with preposition place. Okay, I'm gonna send you this screenshot and if you want to take a screenshot, you can do it. You can do it. I'm gonna send you the screenshot via chat. What I want to do, we're going to use a map. Oops, and I sent you. Okay, listen, take a screenshot, take a screenshot. I'm gonna send you the screenshot or yeah, in the WhatsApp group. I'm gonna send you the screenshot of the map. We will use a map, we use a map, and we're going to complete the following exercises. Okay, what I want you to do, you have to look at the map and answer the following questions. I'm gonna give you five questions and you're going to practice on your own, okay? Vamos a utilizar el mapa. Yo se los voy a enviar a, a mi chat. Si alguien quiere tomar el control de pantalla, con gusto, lo regreso. Y vamos a contestar las preguntas. Let me give an example. Where is the new stand? Let me go back. New stand. Where is the new stand? That is an example. The new stand is across from the movie theater. That is example. The new stand is across from the movie theater. Okay. Now you're going to follow the examples. I mean, you're going to follow the example. You're going to use a map and you have to answer these questions. Five questions. Where is a Chinese restaurant? Where is a travel agent? Where is a parking lot? Where is a music store? And where is a park? That will be a, a practice for you, okay? I need you to practice, I need you to practice, okay? Please take a screenshot or take a photo. Vamos una captura de, de las preguntas, igual del mapa, para que trabajemos en práctica. Esto va a ser una práctica para usted. Llevamos el ejemplo. Y con base en, los, en el ejemplo, vamos a seguir con las preguntas, vamos a contestarlas. Paso a paso vamos a seguir el mapa. Que si gustan tomar una captura, pueden hacerlo. Para que hagamos esa práctica. Ok. ¿Tienen questions? Si no, no se preocupe, yo les voy a mandar la captura del mapa. Y bueno, las preguntas se las puedo compartir si gustan acá en el chat. Las puedo copiar. Eh, ya las envié yo a ti. Oh, perfecto. Gracias, gracias. Thank you. Okay, any questions? That will be a, an extra hunger for extra practice for you. Esa va a ser una práctica extra para usted. Okay. ¿Tienen preguntas, dudas? Antes de finalizar. Oh, por cierto, antes de finalizar, que se me olvide, voy a mencionar los, los nombres que, bueno, han quedado en blanco. Alberto Espinosa. Alberto Espinosa. Bien. Virginia, let's go with Gerson Rodríguez. Gerson Rodríguez, no bien. Um, let's go with Karen Mengiba. Karen Mengiba. No. Carla Granados. No. 
Carla Rosa. Okay. Perfect. Well, any questions, guys? No. Preguntas? No. Not teacher. Okay. Listen up. Uh, remember, practice, practice, practice uh, with the questions that I assigned you. Practiquemos con las preguntas que les asigné. Okay. Y el mapa. mapa. Practice with prepositions of place. On, on the corner of, between, um, next to, and it could be behind. If we're not, it could be. Okay, everybody. This is all for Teacher. today. Yeah, come. Este, a, a esta fecha recuerdo que empiezan a enviar los, los formatos para aparcar espacio para el siguiente nivel mm. ok no lo, este. una pregunta ustedes los envían o los envían hago una pregunta porque uh, bueno yo he, he iniciado hace unos meses que no bueno con el programa con, 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 su grupo, con el grupo y con el programa he iniciado Ustedes, o sea, es que no sé si, cómo, si ustedes envían el formato o si lo envían. Eh, lo envían el formato. Ah, ok. Bueno, voy a preguntar mañana acerca de eso. No sabe, no Pero sabe creo que es en la, en la cuarta semana. Oh, en la cuarta semana. Okay. Mm, no. 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 Bueno, Desde la, la segunda semana, semana me Okay. En la, perdón, César. Empiezan desde la segunda semana, incluso el nivel anterior me lo enviaron, pero en la tercera semana. Pero creo que empiezan desde la segunda semana. Y como son bastantes, quizás en algunos se tarda más. Sí, pero sí, sí. supongo que, que es por eso. Pero ellos nos envían el formato, eh, el formulario y la ficha y todo. Mm, ok, ok. Entonces estamos pendientes. Voy a preguntar yo mañana acerca de eso. Y estamos pendientes para que se el envía, para que ustedes lo empiecen a, a llenar y empiecen a pactar con los enfermos. Uh, bueno, no sé si alguien más tiene alguna duda. ¿Pregunta? No, question. No. Ok, everybody, this is all for today. Thank you for being here. I appreciate your time. We'll be continuing tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good, good, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Bless you. Bye.